Hello everyone, Robe here and welcome back or to the channel. In today's video, I'm, this is my review of set number 76995, Shadows Escape. This has 196 pieces and this retails for $20 US. I'm not sponsored by Lego. And this was released in January 1st of this year. And this is from the Sonic the Hedgehog theme, if you already couldn't tell. And in today's video, I'm going to help you decide if you want to pick this set up or not, if you already have not with a brief opening of the box, we're good with two numbered bags and an instruction manual and nothing particularly special about the instruction manual, just your standard instruction manual with some advertisement material and the typical instructions. After a five minute build, this set is complete and it's a small set of course because $20, you're not gonna get a lot, but it actually does come with surprisingly a lot for just $20. Let's dive right in. First thing is this small little pod container in prison thing. I don't even know what it's called, but it's the little thing that Shadow escapes from in this in this set. It's called Shadow's Escape, and it kind of reminds me of a couple things. It reminds me of a. It's trying to reference the movie, or it's referencing the pod that he is woken up from in Sonic Adventure 2, or this is the pod that he was got shot out of from the Space Colony. In Sonic Adventure 2, it's like three different things it's kind of like almost referencing in this, so I don't know which one it is. Or hell, it could even be the pod from Sonic Heroes when they when he's first found in that game, but I don't know. It's a couple of things it could be referencing. It's just kind of like a combination of one, but it's kind of weird. But it's a simple build. It looks pretty unique, and I don't know what this thing on the top is. It kind of reminds me of Eggman. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be. I don't really get it, but it's on there, and I guess it's kind of cool but it does have a little feature that you can flap the little thing at the bottom and it will raise up the uh, raise down the little like like roadblock thing and it will like pop open the cage so that's a really cool function and it has a really nice little like printed piece in there with shadow on it and you know it's really cool I thought that was gonna be a sticker but no it's actually just printed on there so that's a really good printed piece to have so I'm very much glad for that. I love when Lego actually prints stuff on pieces because why even do stickers when you can just print it? It's so much better. Next up is the Rhino Bot, and I kind of don't really care for this thing in the set. I know they had to add like an enemy variant. They couldn't put like gun or anything in it because I guess that would be a little too, um, I guess, inappropriate or graphic for the little kitty winks who buys a set because it's just an A plus set. So I guess they wanted to get with more kid friendlier kind of enemy and just like OG Sonic, you know, Shadow has never encountered these enemies ever <laughs> in his entire career, but they decided to put this in here and I guess it's it's kind of cool. I guess it's a simple, fun little build. I personally don't care for it. I'd rather we gotten like, like one of the gun robots personally, because I think that would have been way cooler to have or it could have been the Eggman robot, but I mean, I know these technically are Eggman robots, but I mean his more modern Eggman robots, you know. But it's a simple design. It looks good. It it, it does what it does. It looks like what's supposed to be like a rhinoceros, sort of. And it's just a really simple build. And yeah. And we finally reached the main event, which is Shadow's bike and Shadow himself. But mostly the bike. And right here, it looks so good. I When I first saw initial pictures of this, I thought it was going to be a little bit like too oversized kind of like how they do in star wars sometimes where they have like a speeder bike and it'd be like it's like it's too big for the minifig the minifig can even sit in it but no as you can clearly see he can sit in it and he can hold on handlebars just right it's just perfectly sized for it it doesn't look too uncanny for him it actually kind of looks proportionate to his size and he can kind of ride it still now you can't do like the the shot he has usually like from like artwork of the Shadow the Hedgehog game but still it just it looks good and even I even like the printing on the sides like the little cylinder piece the flat tile cylinder pieces it has like the shadow symbol on it and these are printed pieces these are not stickers none of these prints that you see on these tile pieces are stick um, stickers they're printed and it looks really good so they really add the look of the bike and it just looks really cool and they got the color scheme down packed it looks so good and it of course it rolls because what's a motorcycle that can't roll but yeah it's a really good design i generally honestly really like it and it's just a really good build 
And the one lone minifig in this set is Shadow the Hedgehog, of course. He's the only minifig in this set, and I'm perfectly okay with that. Because you really don't need to be slapped in with a bunch of minifigs, because, you know, it's kind of a lone wolf type, so don't really need him in with a bunch of other figures. But he looks great. I mean, the new mold for the hairpiece, or I say hairpiece, but the new mold for his head in the quills looks so good, and I can't believe they actually made this. I was... Like, from day one, when they had the Sonic Dimensions little thing, when they had the Sonic minifig, I was like, oh my god, if they make a Shadow one, I'm going to buy that set immediately. And thankfully, after I don't know how many years since then, they finally now made a Shadow minifig, and it looks so darn good. He has foot printing, leg printing. I wish it was, it kind of went to the, you know, back a bit, because like, it is dual molded, but, like, the actual, like, print itself doesn't go to the back of his, like, feet. Or whatever but regardless it looks good he has arm printing he has back printing it looks just so darn good and you know i was gonna i was thinking it looked a little uncanny because you know obviously the characters are a bit thinner obviously because they're like really thin but in lego they're kind of like wide but it, it looks good like especially the head mold i think it really just when you look at it, it's like yeah shadow that, that looks like him and it looks like all the characters i think a few of them look kind of weird. I think Tails and Amy look kind of weird. But for Shadow and Sonic, it looks really good. I haven't seen Rouge or Knuckles up close yet. Which, that will be the next review, hopefully. But, yeah. Regardless, Shadow looks good. And I really, really like this minifig. Final thoughts. I think this set is really good, actually. I think that this set comes with a lot of good things. I forgot to mention that little bird or chicken thing in the, in the previous part. But... It's a small thing. I really don't care for it. But regardless, final thoughts. I think this set is good. I recommend anyone who likes Sonic and definitely anyone who likes Shadow to get this set. Like, pick this up. I mean, obviously, the this set been out for a while, for a couple weeks now, almost a month. And I already know people who, who really like Sonic theme and Shadow are probably picked up this set already. But just for just in case that some people who hadn't decided just yet, I definitely recommend it. The score I give it is a I'm gonna give it I don't wanna give it too high of a score, but at the same time, it is really good. And and my bias is shadow. I'm really trying not to be biased about it. So I just say I give it a 7-9. Let's go with that. I think it's it's a really solid set and it has a great minifig in it, and it's a, has a decent a few decent builds, especially the motorcycle. So I will say, yeah, a 7-9, that's the score. So that has been my thoughts. Tell me yours down in the comments because I read every single comment. And join me next time when I either go back to Bionicle or I look at the Knuckles set. I forgot the name of it, but that set, that other set that came out this month. So stay tuned for that. And with that, I will bid you all adieu.